Hello all. This video is going to be on uh, using R-Sync, uh, Remote Sync, uh, as a simple backup um, utility. And I'm going to use the, the command line. I know there's a G-R-Sync uh, GUI, but I'm just going to use the command line and just uh, show some examples. And it's very, very simple, uh, the method I use. Uh, simply because I want it simple and I want to see my backup mirrored basically so it's uh, exactly the same structure so let's open a terminal and uh, we'll start off with uh, just typing rsync r s y sync sorry and then p to preserve and recursive and then just your home folder so home and your username out to a folder say uh, I have another hard drive mounted so backup and just folder test so that's without uh, excluding anything it should back up everything in the home folder keep in mind this is Arch Linux if you're using Ubuntu this probably won't work properly you'll get some errors but so I just press enter and it, this will take a while because well, there's quite a few files to back up, as you can see. So from the output uh, directory, um, uh, everything was uh, backed up to the folder I specified, and there's no errors. Okay, so let's go to our uh, root file system, and here's the backup uh, to another drive. This is NTFS, by the way, and here's the folder I uh, did the output to test. Uh, properties is going to calculate uh, 3.2 gigabytes. Now, if you want to leave it at that and just call it a day, a day and use that command, great. You know, you don't uh, have to listen to what I'm telling you, but um, some stuff I don't need. Um, so I go to this folder where I have a rsync script file. If I right click on this, properties. It's only 159 megabytes. So the idea of this is to choose what you want to back up. And you can also choose when to back up. Okay. should also mention that if we go back to our file system and the backup, or say file system, this backup here, and this test folder, I've opened a terminal here. Wait a minute. Open terminal here. And you see we're in the backup. We want to remove the test folder. It just uh, It's much quicker than trying to delete it manually. So sudo be the best way. rm-r for recursive. And then in that folder, test, we're going to remove. And uh, it's gone. As you can see, there's nothing here. So I'll close this terminal down. Now, um... Let's look at the script. So I have the basic command rsync uh, dash capital P dash R. Then I have this exclude, two dashes exclude, and a dash from, and in, in just single uh, quotes uh, pointing to an exclude dot text document, and then the rest is uh, what to back up, and then uh, source destination basically. So if we look for uh, exclude text, here it is here. So here's what I chose to not have backed up all the time is Dropbox uh, kind of redundant uh, downloads uh, that can get pretty full uh, the dot wine folder uh, sums that's inside Caden live I guess I don't even need that anymore because I've excluded Caden live trash videos uh, virtual box that can get fairly large a uh, variety that's a wallpaper changer and uh, thumbnails you don't really need those either okay so again, you can uh, run the script and uh, from from uh, whatever you want to call it. So it'll be dot slash backup. Oops. Dot sh. And uh, you can see it's much much quicker. I didn't have to pause the video. And finally. Um, 
you need to, if you want to schedule it, uh, Arch Linux doesn't come with any kind of uh, scheduler anymore, or I don't know if it didn't, I can't remember. Uh, but what I use is uh, sudo pacman dash capital S uh, Ronnie. And it's already installed, okay? So make sure you have this installed at least. It seems to be the most straightforward one to work with. So I'll press no. Once it's installed, you can edit it. But first, I want to mention if you go to your uh, edit your uh, bash rc under environmental variables here, I changed these. Uh, I think this is what g edit. So I took out g edit and put leaf pad. And if it doesn't find leaf pad, it's going to use nano. Okay. So the first option is to use leaf pad. So if you have Mouse pad, you can use that, or if you have gedit, you can use it, but uh, I just left that leaf pad because it's a very simple text editor. So once you have that uh, setting, just uh, type in cron tab and a dash E. Press enter. And a huge white screen, sorry. And you can see here, it's uh, this is the uh, cron job that's going to uh, back up, use the backup script. So it's uh, set for every 10 minutes. So there's hours, uh, minutes, uh, seconds, and there's other there's other types of cron jobs like daily and weekly and monthly. But uh, I made my own inside, like for my own usage, not a system-wide. And the trick about this is when you finish uh, typing or copying and pasting your script in, make sure there's another space at the end. If not, you're going. It'll give you an error. It'll say "end of file, unexpected end of file." So make sure there's a space after your command. Okay. So I, I don't need to edit this, and no changes were made. Now I've decided to not want to use it anymore. You just type in cron tab dash r, which I'm not going to do. I don't want to delete that, but that's a that's what you would do. All right. So uh, I think that's pretty much everything. Just make sure your uh, exclude text, if you're going to use it, is uh, pointed to the directory you want to exclude from. And make sure you have uh, some kind of cron installed. Cronies, like I said, is fine, simple to work with. Uh, watch your environmental variables, variables in Bash, and you should be good. Okay, so that's it. Um, rsync, simple backup plan in Arch Linux. So thanks so much for watching, and uh, any questions, comments, as always, feel free to add them, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.